was a sad little belly. She lived by herself in a house in a tree. Her butlers would show up each morning at nine. They'd open the door to hear Madam Wine. I'm so blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo. I'm so blue, I don't know what to do. She's so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. Her butlers, whose names were Bob and Lily, would help her with chores in her house in a tree. Bob would wash dishes for Lily to try. Madam would stack them and then start to cry. I'm so blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo, blue cuckoo. She's so blue she don't know what to do. These dishes are faded, their edges are chipped. This world is on back, well done, this one is flipped. These spoons are too tiny, these folks are no good. These knives have gone dull and don't slice like they should. My neighbors have nice things, I've seen them myself. In fact, I keep pictures up here on my shelf. Look at this new flatware of Monsieur Lacoons. And Monsieur Duplan has 12 Franklin mint spoons. And Philip Van P went and bought a new sink. Why, he even has a disposal, I think. And look at this cool part of Madame Lacrosse's and ceramic jars where she keeps all her sauces. Nice sauces. I'm so blue, 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 blue. She's so blue, she don't know what to do. Just look at this sofa of Edward and Tammy's and lovely oh wow where they keep all their jammies. I really can't stand it. I think I might die. Now where was the hanky? I'm going to cry. <gasps> Too late. <laughs> of a typical morning. The things that Madame Blueberry had did not make her happy, so she would gaze at her mantle of pictures and cry for the things she wanted. She was a very blue belly. Her butlers would try to help her, but this did no good. Now, now, Madame Blueberry, you have a lot to be thankful for. Good friends, a place to live, plenty of food, and you've got us. <laughs> like I said, her butlers tried to cheer the poor berry up, but their efforts were fruitless. But anyway, if this sad berry is getting you down, don't give up hope, because this is the day that Madame Blueberry learns a very important lesson. <laughs> I need tea. Larry, be a dear and bring me some tea. <laughs> Out there. Please stop looking out the window and bring me my tea. Larry? Larry! What do you suppose that is? I don't know. What does it mean? Would you get that, dear? It's big. Madam, there's someone here to see you. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We're neighbors. We moved in down the street. Some say we're the most delightful bunch of fellows you'll ever want to meet. And if you have a moment to spare, kind lady with beauty so Rare. We'd like to take a minute or two on a topic of interest to you. 
We represent the Stuff Mart, an enormous land of goodies. Would you mind if we stepped in, please? Well, I... And as associates of the Stuff Mart, it looks like you could use some stuff. Oh, yes. Yes, why, I was just saying that... I pray that you won't take this wrong, my dear, but my initial observation is as follows. The criminal responsible for this decor really should be hanging from the gallows. <laughs> we represent the Stuff Mart, a magic land of retail. Would you care to see what's on sale? Then as a customer of the Stuff Mart, get ready for some real nice stuff. Check it out, check it out! If you want a big hat, we got that! And if you need a tube of glue, we got that too! A 20 gallon wok, they're in stock! And if you need refrigerators to keep extra mashed potatoes, or a giant air compressor to blow food by a dresser, or a dehydrated strudel, or a nose for your poodle, or a five pound can of tuna, and some flippers to go scuba! But you really should take our advice Happiness waits at the Stuff Mart All you need is lots more stuff So, if I buy more things, that will make me happy? I don't think that's true Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You really, really ought to. How could I afford not to? Now you've got it. Oh, great. Happiness waits at the Stuff Mart All you need is lots more They are way to the stuff mart when something caught Madame Blueberry's eye. Mm -hmm. It was a little girl sitting down to her birthday dinner with her family. But they did not have very much money. Instead of a nice tree house, they had to live on the ground. And all they could afford for her birthday dinner was oatmeal and one small piece of apple pie. Surely they must be very sad to have so little, Madame Blueberry thought. But then, the little girl did something that surprised her very much. I thank God for this day, for the sun in the sky, for my mom and my dad, for my piece of apple pie, for a home on the ground, for his love that's all around. That's why I say thanks every day Because a thankful heart is a happy heart I'm glad for what I have That's an easy way to start For the love that he shares Cause
because he listens to my prayers. That's why I say thanks every day. Madame Blueberry was confused. The little girl had so little, and yet she was happy. Madame needed to think about this for a while. Ah, uh, madam? Your kingdom awaits. Ah, uh, maybe later. Right now, it was time to shop. to be. Why, the spectacle was making her woozy. I am feeling woozy. And rightfully so. Well, madam, shall we shop? This was the most glorious moment that Madame Blueberry had ever known. There was nothing she saw she could not have. Right away, she found flatwares just like Monsieur Lagoons, and then a sparkling new set of Franklin Mint Spoons. Then she spotted a crockpot like Madame Le Crosses, and some ceramic jars to hold our health sauces. Not to mention a sofa like Edward and Tammy's and an entire collection of terry cloth jammies. It was not long before Madame Blueberry had collected everything she had pictures of. She had already filled up a dozen shopping carts, but she did not stop there. She kept going. Madam, why don't we have these things delivered to your house while you keep shopping? It'll save time. Ten percent off delivery. Oh, all right. That sounds good. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, look! Air compressors! Then she grabbed a window scraper and a gross of toilet paper. Then a ratchet set and pliers and surround sound amplifiers. Pretty soon, the shopping carts made them feel stretched around the aisles, out the door, and all the way to her house. For me, well, what do you say we head home? Oh, there are whole aisles we haven't even seen yet. No, I'm not leaving until I have everything I need to be happy. Dad, look! It's the train set I saw on TV! The Casey Jr. Deluxe one working light on real livestock small! Oh, that's what I really want. Can I get one, Dad? Huh? Please? Oh, wow. That sure is a nice one. But it's an awful lot of money. Yeah, but... I don't think we can afford that right now, Junior. But... Is there anything else you'd like? How about a ball? We could get a ball today. What do you think about that? Okay, a ball would be nice. We could play with it in the park later, right? Sure, Junior. Thank you, Dad, for our day, for our trip to the mall, for the time just with me, for my big red bouncy ball, for the fun that we had. I'm so happy you're my dad. That's why I say thanks every day. Because a thankful heart is a happy heart. I'm glad for what I have. That's an easy way to start. For a 
God who really cares. And he listens to our prayers. That's why I say thanks every day. That's why we say thanks every day. Well, now my man was even more confused. How could this little boy be so happy after not getting what he really wanted? And why didn't she feel happy, even so she was getting everything she wanted? Ah, uh, madam, I think you're going to enjoy our next aisle. Toasted ovens. It was at this moment that Madame Blueberry had a revolutionary thought. I don't need a toaster oven. Well... Of course you don't need a toaster oven. I mean, really, who needs any of this stuff? But I think we both know that you want a toaster oven. No, I don't. But at last, I think I know what I do want. Well, what? I want what that little boy with the ball has and what the little girl with the piece of pie has. What's that? A happy heart. A, a, a what? A happy heart. They both have happy hearts. What aisle are the happy hearts in? I'm afraid we don't have those. Suddenly, it was all becoming clear. Maybe a happy heart does not come from a store. Maybe the kids were right. Maybe a happy heart is a thankful heart. I've been so foolish. For so long, I have had so much. A roof over my head, plenty of food, good friends. But all I wanted was more, more. No more. There's a new Madame Blueberry in town, and she's going to be thankful for what she has.
<laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. <sighs> we'll take it from here, boys. Your house is okay. Working butlers and her nice new friends, Madame knew everything was going to be just fine. And most important of all, this once very blueberry was truly thankful that day for everything she had and seemed, though it may have been the late afternoon light, not quite so blue. How did that song go again? Let's see. We thank God for this day, for the sun in the sky, for the friends that we have, for our yummy apple pie, for the love that he shares, cause he listens to our prayers. That's why we say thanks every day, because of the 